Angela Zesbo, S Z E B O, was an Agatha demon. In a past life, she had been the leader of the Agatha demons, and now the Archangel Michael was calling upon her to once again lead a modern group of Agatha demons against the forces of Satan. Agatha Sesbo was a great cop with a no nonsense attitude, with no memory of her past lives until those memories were reawakened by the Archangel Michael's touch. And it was a night. Like a thousand other nights, she was just doing her job. A routine raid on a local club, the headquarters for a small town lowlife, Johnny Palmetto, to round up some bad guys, bring in her numbers. Uh, but when she raided the nightclub, it turned out to have Flatface, the leader of the American cartel, visiting it at the moment. And so outgunned, she was brought down in a hail of bullets as, as was her team victorious flat face laughed when will you cops learn he asked out loud to no one but himself you take the money or you take the lead <laughs> and then he escaped but not before sensing a presence in the club a presence he looked for but he could not see after he paused a moment he took a lighter from his pocket began lighting the club on fire as he made his escape, laughing as he watched the flames spread. Angela Zesbo had been shot in the back, severing her spine, and was slowly bleeding out as she watched him burning the club down. And as she laid there, the Archangel Michael touched her and transformed her with a word. Agatha Cleo. And she was standing beside him, and she had a shield in her right arm and a sword in her left hand. She was out of uniform in a short skirt and sleeveless blouse, and yet it all seemed strangely familiar. This was who she was. Oh, it was also confusing. The the memories, uh, the lives. Uh, it, he said, Agatha Cleo, remember who you are. The world needs you, Agatha Cleo. Faith, love, and understanding. You are called upon once again to serve. Remember, he said to her. While he was leading her out of the club through the flames, the police found her unconscious outside and transported her to the hospital. She wakes up in the hospital. The golden glow in her eyes fade, and the doctor tells her that her spine has been severed and that she will never walk again. You claim that you walked out of the club? It's impossible. You, you must have been carried. No, she assures him. I walked out of the club under my own steam. After everyone had left the club, she has a visitor. Bikili wa Madarika, mother or mother to his friends, uh, was a rookie cop who had also been touched by Michael. He is her eyes and ears on the force. When he transforms, he is Ramsey, and he has been, he had been her vizier among the Aga demons. You are an Aga demon, he tells her. You have the ability to change things to its opposite simply by striking the demon with your sword. The demon is dispatched back to the netherworld and the person, after first falling unconscious, awakens as if from a dream to live a life opposite from the one he had been living, changed forever from the inside out. That's it. That's... Uh, That's Agatha Cleo.